Okay. We are good to go. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a full walkthrough inside of Procreate on how to make a cartoon head. So without further ado, let's jump right into this thing. First thing you want to do, man, you want to click on procreate come over here to this plus sign and then the size i like to draw on is eight by eight inches so we're just gonna create custom size so you can see how i do everything okay select inches i say eight make the width eight and i make the height eight everything it gives i leave it the exact same then i just hit create and there you have it now first thing you want to do when you get inside of it you want to hit this little wrench the little tool icon then you want to go to add insert photo so i have my picture saved on the tablet the one i want to use after I get it in there, I, I make it the size I would like with my two fingers. So let's see. I think that's perfect. Right there. After you get the picture placed exactly where you want it, all you got to do, come over here to your layers, select the end. And bring the opacity down now let's create a new layer right above it by hitting this plus sign we go over here to this circle create the color black go to my brush and i'm using an apple pencil by the way this is the best tool for digital art when you're doing it on an ipad you know what i'm saying the apple pencil so you can get the pressure options so you can get the pressure sensitivity you know what i'm saying so the brush i like to do my line work with is the inking technical pen so make sure you got that selected move your streamline on that brush all the way up to the max so it'll help you make your lines more more cleaner so now let's zoom in and now we can just make some, make my brush a little smaller. Now we finna make some clean lines, man. And to fill in, see how I got it closed off? You gotta make sure you got your area closed off. Just drag this black. Uh-oh, let me step back. Close this off again. Let's drag black from right there. And just do that. That's how you fill in. Drag black and fill in. Make your line work clean as possible, man. Gotta take your time. Anytime you mess up, just hit this back arrow to delete. Now what we about to do, 
we about to create us a path so we won't draw outside the selection we we making so how you do that is you click this tool right there make sure everything looking right okay put this tool right here and we're gonna draw out our outline that we don't want to go outside of Okay, perfect. Now we got that drawn out. We're gonna come over here to our brush tool and we're gonna go to the touch ups. Then we're gonna get this little hair brush right here. And we're gonna draw the fade. Make it bigger, a little too big. Okay, whatever we got the fade going. The kind of my noise brush. Start filling it in more. Brushes. I'm gonna make it look more real and natural. Okay, cool. Go back. I'm gonna go to my eraser and then I'm gonna use my hairbrush as well. So I'm using a hairbrush for the eraser so I can help it out a little bit, help it fade. Okay, cool. I think that's perfect. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish drawing out the dreads. Oh. Let's go to our brush tool. Let's go back to the inking technical pen. And we got to finish drawing these dreads out. So what I'm gonna do? Make sure I'm closing all of this off. Let's just create a path we can follow. That in. Let's keep creating this path, make our job a lot more easier. Tool just to fill in this area right here. 
let me take the picture off so y'all can see i gotta fill in these hairs to make it blend in so i went to my airbrush tool just to cover up fade this in blend this in with the hairs Perfect. Now what we about to do, let's go back. And we're gonna create a, a path for his eyebrows. So you wanna come right here. Let's zoom in. Let's make a selection around these eyebrows. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna come over here to my brush. Go to your touch ups, brushes. And then we're gonna click short hair brush. Okay. Make it smaller. And we're just gonna make it flow. Make it go in the direction. Okay. Perfect. Now we can turn this off. Zoom in. Are we still on that hairbrush? I'll just make this fade a little better so it don't stand out so much. A bit more natural. Okay, perfect. Now we gotta come to the other side and do the same exact thing. Create us a path. back to my brush make it a little bigger make it flow now get out of that are we still on that brush help it fade a little more so it's a little more natural I'm gonna try these other hair brushes. Give it some more texture. Okay, perfect. I'm still on my hair brush. I'm gonna come up here, get these dreads some nice looking effects, make it look real. I'm gonna go back to my inking brush. Let's finish everything that we miss. Go ahead and close off his neck. Now, go ahead and Create our little 3D effect. Now, I'm gonna go back to my hairbrush. Let's draw in mustache.
Another brush I like to use when I'm doing the hair texture is, let me see, abstract, then it's one of these. I think it's the membrane brush, not sure. Yep, it's that. They help out the hair texture. May basically you just gotta learn how to utilize the brush. And to make sure you stay safe so uh, the program don't crash on you because sometimes this program will crash once I get too deep into it. What I do is I log out and then I come back into it and that's how my picture will do like an automatic save. It'll give me like a stopping point. So if something do happen I still have all this that I worked on. So make sure you find nice little stopping points to exit out and exit back in trust me let me go back to my my hairbrush and i'm just trying to just keep adding little textures Now that we done with the line work, everything looking nice and sharp. What we about to do is we about to start adding color. So what we're gonna do, let's come over here to our layers. Let's make a copy of our line work by dragging this to the left. Then you can hit duplicate. That's how you make a copy. But I made a mistake and hit lock, my bad. Unlock, drag it to the left, hit duplicate. We can go ahead and delete the photo we use. Do another duplicate layer. Now select the bottom layer. Let's find us a nice base tone for the skin. We only put in the skin on this layer. The skin tone. That's it. Okay, cool. After you do that, before you go to the next step, let's go to our airbrush. And you gotta make sure you zoom in and you color this in because it don't pick up when it, sometimes in all these little cracks right here. So I'm coloring that in just to make sure it got it. it out now let's create us a let's go to the layer right above it and on this layer we're gonna add the lip color the eye color and you know the little earring and the teeth so let's go ahead and do the teeth and uh, eye color. Let's drag and drop the color. And you will see why I put the skin tone on a layer by itself as soon as we get finished with putting this base color down. So let's find us a nice color.
Okay. I want to tweak the lip color a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come where well, I got that layer selected that is on. I'm going to come over here to this little magic one. And I'm going to go to hue, saturation, brightness. And then I'm going to fix these levels a little bit. That's why I get them the color I want. Okay, cool. That's a nice look base color. Also, go ahead and create us one more layer for the turtleneck. Okay, bam. Now that we got a nice little base color. I'm finna tweak the skin tone a little bit, so let me uh select it. Go to my magic one, Q saturation, brightness, and we're gonna tweak this color a little bit. And let's see. Yeah, that's a nice color right there. Now what you wanna do, you wanna click onto the skin skin color layer and then you want to hit select after you make a selection you will notice that it won't let you go outside that line like we've been doing okay I made a selection on my skin tone layer now I'm gonna create a new layer right above it and that now let's go back to our Brush tool, and I'm gonna go to my soft brush. I'm gonna sample the skin tone by holding my finger on it, and we're gonna blend it a little bit to make a shadow. Now we're gonna draw our shadows on this blank layer why we got a selection that won't let us go outside. You know what I'm saying? That's why we made a selection on the skin tone layer. See, it will not let us color outside the skin tone layer. So, let me step back. Now, I'm gonna look at my picture and with my soft brush, I'm gonna add all my shadows. And what I like to do, I like to start out with a little quick quick base and I just draw light this is why it's so good to have this apple pencil I draw light and then I sample that shadow that I just created because it blends better so now I just sample this color and I'm gonna draw the whole shadow tone with this color Bring your opacity down as well so you can get a better transition with your shading. Okay. I'm just looking at my photo. Looking at where all the shadows at on the original picture. I'm not doing anything different. I'm just drawing exactly what I see. Don't overthink it when you're doing your shadows. You just gotta draw them exactly where you see them at on the original picture. Now what I'm finna do, let me tweak this shadow layer a little bit. Use saturation, make it blend a little bit. Okay, let's add the perfect, like that. Let me sample this that I just created. Let's go. 
and it's a building when you shading and you're trying to do that realistic looking shading it's a building process it don't stop don't try to rush it take your time yeah i'm just piecing it together i'm doing it piece by piece And you see when I'm shading, I shade light and you notice I get different tones. So I sample the different tones as well while I'm shading that I'm creating. See, this is a lighter tone I just made. So I'm gonna grab my finger and sample that tone. And after I sample it, I can move my smoothness all the way up cause it's not gonna go no darker than that. And I'm just going to build. I'm going to use that to build. But I'm also, I'm not going to use that to go over too much of my dark tones. Because I'm going to be going back and forth. Sampling the shadows I just created. So when I need a lighter shadow, I have it on my picture to pick from. Um, I want to go to my soft airbrush. And I'm going to move my smoothness, my streamline all the way down, I mean, on my soft airbrush. Go back to my... soft brush I think I like the soft brush better move my opacity back down some sort of fade more Got a nice little shade going. The sample our dark shadow that we made. Time for that. And now let's finish building all our darker tones. And we'll brush a little smaller. So it take it takes a little practice because you got to do a lot of switching your brushes. You know what I'm saying? Changing the size, dropping the opacity and all that Another brush I like to use, let's make our shadows a little darker, a little more on the orangey brownish side. Okay, now let's go to one of my favorite brushes, it's the noise brush. It's gonna, gonna start coming together now. Detail. I'm gonna create a new layer right above our shadow layer that we just created. Just in case we gotta change these tones a little bit to make them blend more. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Make it more. Perfect. Go back to our back to our brush. And let's go. And let's add these details. Remember you gotta sample it, sample the color after you make it so it'll be saved to your brush. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our layer where we got our eyes and our lips on. Create a selection around it. We're gonna add our details inside the eyes and the mouth. Go to my soft brush. Thank you. 
And what we about to do is go ahead and make a selection around the line work layer, create a new layer right above it. And we finna add some details inside this area. And there you have it, you guys, how to make cartoon head on the iPod. iPad. <laughs> I said iPod. Make sure you stay tuned, Mo. He coming soon. I'm out the beat.